What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on Rice and ended up getting beat 28 to 23. It was one of the worst games that I've played personally, just in terms of just not doing my part on my end. We play calling on offense, on defense. We went up against a triple option offense that I just did not uh, go up against very well in terms of my play calling. And on offense, we had to play pretty much near perfect football in order just to keep up with them. And we didn't do well enough, especially in the second half, as you can see in the box score. But we got to get over it. I kind of know what to do going forward the next time I play a team like this, which we're going to play Rice every single season. But we got to move on. And today we got a home game against Tulsa. This is going to be, I guess, a tougher matchup, at least in terms of talent. They got the same amount of talent as we do. You look at their stats, their defense looks to be okay. They look like a very average team. Five and five. Everything's kind of middle of the road for them. Kind of like us in a sense now, our stats is all over the place. We're like one of the worst in passing, but really good in running. Defensively, we're awful at stopping the run. That's because we've had two really bad games because of it. But we got supposedly the best pass defense in the country. It's a little bit all over the place. But anyway, it's been a long time since I played Tulsa. I think they run a spread offense and I think a 3-3-5 defense, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll check all of that out when we get into the game. They have come out with bold projections. This is the first week that they've done this, I think. And they have us going to the Fort Worth Bowl, going up against Texas Tech. Now, this doesn't mean a whole lot. We still got two games left. We got to execute, so does Texas Tech. So who knows who we're going to end up playing. But it looks like if we're going to stay at the number four spot in our conference, there's a good chance we're going to be playing in this bowl. Here is our team info screen. On the offensive side of things, nothing has changed. It's still Ricard. Jackson and Davis doing their thing. And on the defensive side, I think we got a new leader in tackles and Boger or Boger, however you want to say his name. Sachs Morris, that stayed pretty much the same. And Mason has had been stuck on five interceptions for quite a while now. Now we could check out Tulsa. They don't have any injuries. Looks like their last game they got beat by East Carolina. Looks like they got a quarterback putting up okay numbers. 22 touchdowns, but 11 picks. They got a running back putting up over 112 yards per game. Hopefully, he's not an impact running back. Receiver, they got one guy putting up almost 100 yards a game. On the defensive side, they just got a handful of dudes kind of doing their thing. Before we head into the game, I want to talk about the offense. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. My offense all season has been predicated on we're going to focus on five or six concepts, and we're going to pick the two or three best plays from each formation and kind of work off of that. The problem I had with that is my play calling forced me to kind of stick to like barely one or two plays out of a single formation. For example, ace big tight end wide receiver, it got to the point where I was only using a slam from it, and that was never my intention, but when you use by force all nine formations in a game, you tend to hone in on your favorite slam concept which mine i guess was from ace big tight end wide receiver and i twins i was kind of just running slam and toss so what i'm going to do is first of all we got a, a few different formations we got ace normal gun two back slot and gun bunch now i put all these in here for one reason i'm going to treat these as mini schemes as cycle offenses whatever you want to call it so the, what i'm going to do is on normal downs, first down, second down, third and short, that type of thing. I think I'm going to try to go an entire drive sticking with one formation. That way it doesn't, um, it forces me to call different concepts while still keeping it within the same structure, more or less. So one drive, I may go all the entire way going ace normal. Same with gun two back slot, just kind of whatever. And if I got to switch something up, for example, if I have a drive that just doesn't go well with ace normal, I may go to a different formation and we'll see how that goes and just kind of go from there. It's been so long since I've done anything like this. This normally isn't how I do things, but I've just kind of been uh, soul searching on my offense for the last couple of days. And I'm going to give this a shot and hopefully it'll work out. Before we head back into the video, I just wanted to point out a few things that are on my site. First of all, rosters. My 128 megabyte PlayStation 2 memory card with over 20 name roster files for every NCAA football game. This is the perfect way for you to get a ton of roster files if you still play on the PlayStation 2. 
I also have my brand new apparel shop. This has been a request from several people for a while with some good ideas. And now I have my logo and my name on a bunch of different cool stuff from shirts to hoodies, long sleeves and tanks and whatnot. I got two designs so far. I got my main logo and I got Playbook Gamer written out in the Letterman font. And last but not least, you head over to my vault. This is my entire file collection that you have complete access to there are thousands upon thousands of files that you can download print and copy do whatever you want to with them i got a bunch of things in there all of my books i got dynasty files technically i just got one for now i got spreadsheets for a lot of game info then team playbooks play images my entire playbook collection dynasty trackers i even have a franchise tracker and a call sheet so make sure you check all this out a lot of good content we're back in the dome, which means we'll have perfect weather, technically. I think we've got one home victory this season. This would be nice to have a second one today. I can't wait to fill this place up. It's going to take me a couple seasons, but we'll get there. They are showing to the division standings. We are technically in second place. <laughs> but Houston, they just had a great season. And here comes the two-lane green wave. I'm going to stick with the green uniforms for a while until I feel like switching up at another time. And there is Tulsa. It's the first time I've seen these uniforms. We'll check them out a little bit later. They're going to highlight Jackson. Hopefully he has a good game today. We're probably going to feature the run quite a bit some, I would think. It's just safer. It's been our most consistent thing so far on offense. And they are picking Tulsa. Look at those helmets. Woo. All right, let's go to the coin toss. That's an interesting shade of gold that they have right there. They won the toss, and they will receive it, which is fine by me. Now, the first thing we want to do is go to formation subs. I need to switch out a couple things. First of all, I'm going to leave that as is. Here, we're going to put Forte. I need to put... I normally want to do formation subs for this. I'm going to put Davis here. I'm gonna, that's going to stay the same. Uh, uh, let's put Jackson right there. How about that? Here, uh, this is another good thing about gun to back slot. I'm using my version 2 of my master playbook. It automatically has our number 1 and our number 2 halfbacks in that formation. This is another reason why I picked this formation. It's got a bunch of good plays in it. I think it would be good cycle offense. I think I could go down with an entire drive with that formation, along with any other formation I have in this playbook. So, let's see. I got Forte there. I got Jackson there. Uh, we can leave Jackson there. I'm okay with that. And Forte and Trips. I'm okay with all that. I want to make sure Davis is right here. And Gun Bunch. And I think we're going to be okay. The rest of that looks pretty good. All right, let's go and check out their roster. Starting off, quarterback. He's a pocket passer at least. We're going to go after him as much as we can today. They don't have an impact halfback. Thank the Lord. That would have been a struggle. But he's still a really solid uh, player. Ural Parrish. I hopefully I said that correctly. 88 overall. 82 behind him. Fullback. 80 and a 76. Can he catch? 62 catch. Not really. You go to wide receiver impact guy. So this kind of tells me they're going to throw the ball a little bit more. But we'll see. I think they're a balanced offense, though. 88, 82, 78, 76, 78. Pretty decent core of wide receivers for the conference. They have a 97 overall tight end. That tells me you got an impact wide receiver and a tight end that should say that they're going to throw the ball a lot. You would think. 84 speed. This guy is just really talented. We're going to see him do a lot of damage on us today. Hopefully not. Look at their offensive line. 82, 82, 78, 84, and 86. Not too bad across the board. Again, I think they run a 3-3-5. 78, 87. Ooh, we got lucky on this one. Their best defensive end is out today. He's missing a game for whatever reason, but his backup isn't that much uh, worse than he is, so that's not a huge drop-off for them. Defensive tackle, 80, uh, 80, 78, 68. Look at their linebacker, 76. Middle linebacker, impact, 89 over a lot like our linebacker, middle linebacker in Cannon. And 78 at the right side. Corner, 80 and 74, then it just kind of a drop-off after that. Looks like they got another guy in trouble. Uh, 74, free safety. Maybe we can exploit that some today. We'll see. 89, a strong safety, and their backup is out. So that is a good thing. They're 3-3-5, three, three, 
is taking a big hit. I'm like, he's a starter technically. They got two really good strong safeties, and this guy is not playing today, which is great. 80 at kicker, 74 at punter, and I think we're ready to go. All right, they got an impact guy on the right side. I'm going to kick it over on the left if possible. And it's this may be our first televised game at home. I could be dead wrong. We probably have had a couple, and I just didn't pay attention. We got Brad Nessler on the mic today. Uh, let's go quarters for now. Again, I think they're going to throw quite a bit. Maybe we can force this quarterback into making bad throws. Ace normal. Love that formation. They're going with the quarterback. Good defense by the linebacker. They went with that halfback pass play, which is in our playbook, and that's all I'm going to say about that. We may use some of that play later on. We'll see. They're going back to ace normal. I'm going to feature some ace normal today as well. Such a good formation. Play action. Good play. Almost intercepted. Good job by the linebacker. So it's third and ten. They're going with a big set. I'm going to go cloud. Would love to be able to get to this guy. Right, let's do something like this. I got pushed around big time. I didn't have a chance on that one. Wow, great catch. He couldn't bring it in, though. Oh, I thought that was a really good play, but wasn't enough. So we're going to force a punt. That is good. Let's get on offense. Let's see if we can get something going on the punt return first before we do get on offense. Right down the middle of the field. I'm going to fair catch that one. There's really nowhere to go. Now, one thing I do need to check. Let me check their defense one more time. Something I wanted to see. I wanted to see. Let's go right there. All right. I wanted to check. 70. I thought their players just across the board looked pretty normal. I didn't see any huge weaknesses anywhere. They're all just kind of the same, really. So, I don't know. All right. What we're going to do is let's start off with ace normal like they did. Let's go with Forte. Let's just start off with Slam. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33 yard line. They're going zone. Single set back to you. They keep it on the ground. Good play by Forte. We can stay in this formation again. I'm gonna try to stick with it for the most part and see how it goes. We're still in the middle of the field. Uh, we could do a toss with Forte. They're going man dime, which is interesting. And one thing I don't have anything set up is audibles. I can deal with that at another time, but I'd like to get them implemented in the offense some if possible. Not a whole lot of movement there. Now, it is uh, second and seven. I am going to try tight end streaks. I'm going to try to go to Davis. I know we got two tight ends that can go. Terrible throw. Very fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Just not a very good throw. That's been our biggest problem all season. Our passing game has just been iffy, which is really goofy since we got an impact quarterback. Now, I'm going to go to a third and long play. We're going to go tight end cross. For going man, we got options everywhere. We just need to execute. Let's see what they go with here. Cover zero. I'm going to go to Davis. Good catch. Great catch, Davis. I had two cover zero beaters to the post or the go. I wanted to go to my impact wide receiver, and that ended up being just a really good throw by Ricard. So we are on the right hash. I'm going to go back. Uh, we're going to go back to ace normal, and I'm going to go back to tight end streaks. This is what I wanted to see. I want to go zone. I could have called that other one. I didn't think about that, but let's go here. Get some yards, not bad, pick up seven. And then from here, we could call a different play. I should have called, uh, where's it at, safety attack, but I didn't. That's my fault, no big deal. Uh, let's go with, where's it at, ha halfback read. They're going 5-2 man. Uh, we can do some more motion. Let's do something like this. Just get a first down. Now, from here, I can't go ace normal. They're going to go goal line if I went with it. So, we're going to go to ace big tight end wide receiver. We'll go ace slam. 
And we can stay in this formation until we get in the end zone. They're going zone. Uh, let's, let's go. Let's do something like... Uh, nope, we're going to bring them back over. Wasn't expecting that shift like that. That was interesting. Uh, touchdown, barely. All right, so that was a good drive. We pretty much stayed in one formation the entire time until we had situational offense. Now, unfortunately, with ace normal, I don't have... I mean, there's just not enough good plays to go third and long and the goal line, but that's fine. For basic down and distance... We can stick to that one formation, but when it comes to the third and long and stuff, I can go to a better third and long play from a different formation or when we're in goal line, like what we just done there. Go to a goal line formation. So it's all situational, but I like sticking with that same formation. It kind of forced me to call different plays across the board. And this is a bad kick. This is going to go out of bounds, I'm afraid. I hit the button too late. So they're, they're going to get the ball to 35. So I thought Ace Normal went really well there. So what we can do is maybe go back to it and see if they can stop it some more, or I can go to a different formation. We can figure that out when we get back on offense. I haven't decided if I want to do that. Stick with the same formation if it keeps working or do something else. I don't know. That's something I'll figure out in time. Good play there. Good juke. Went half back dive off my zone blitz. I'm going to call the same thing, but we're going to go from nickel. I'm going to go after this quarterback. And, ah, dang it. It said they was going to go ace normal. Good, yeah, just wide open. It said they was going three wide. That's why I went with nickel. All right, I'm going to go back to another zone blitz. Do something like this. They may go dive again. Gun normal is a great formation, regardless if you get the default plays. Great. They went play action. That helped. But even with the version 2 master playbook, it's, they got good plays across the board. But going five wide, I'm going to go quarters out of nickel. I don't have the corners to go dime a lot. I'll do something like this. No, let's spread them out. I got the impact tight end on my side. He's wide open over there, too. Ooh, he done a shovel pass, I think. I think I saw that correctly. Third and forever. Man, if we can get a stop here, that would be great. I'm going to go back to Morris. You look at their offensive line. Pretty solid. I may struggle against this right tackle all day. Oh, no. Just a good, you know. Good play on their part. We'll go back to a zone blitz. Looks like they're on the verge of scoring. Do something like this. Oh, and I completely missed them. But they're going to lose some yardage. <laughs> I just did not do a good job on that blitz. Uh, they're going with a bigger set. Uh, let's go man 4-3. Uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to control defense attack on this one. Don't know why. I just want to do it. I can't get around the guy. Good open field tackle there. So it's third and long again. Third and ten. I'm going to go back to Cloud. See if I can do a better job again after the quarterback. I'll do something like this. I'm going to control this defensive end. He's got all day to throw. Get him, get him, get him. Off the back foot. And he still made the... I swear. Just a good play. Just our defense just couldn't make the play on that one. Man. Just like that, there went the lead. We'll get back on offense. See if we can go down the field and score, get the lead back. They just kind of made their plays along the way. They converted to the third downs. That's what it takes. You got to convert your third downs. This is going to be a tough matchup. They're just as good as we are. Which doesn't say a whole lot. We're both two very average teams, but still. Let's see if Batiste can do something with this. Just don't fumble it. Alright, we can go with whatever formation. Let's go. Let's go with gun trips over. Let's just fool around with that in this drive and see how they handle it. They're going zone 3-3-5. I am not going to run on that one. 
get Jackson in the game. Get about nine yards there, kind of, sort of. First and ten. Good play there. We'll stick with this. We can go. Let's see what we have here. Uh, screen. We can call that later. Uh, let, let's do the double screens. They're going man. And they're doing that. Hmm. Okay. Go to Davis. Get a first down. Good play there. Uh, now we can run the ball. Let's go with a basic halfback dive. We're going... Uh, don't know if this is going to work or not. Zone 3-3-5. Three, three, I don't have a... Oh, dang it. Ran into my own player. Good play, though. We got, what, six yards out of it? Got nine out of that. Hmm. Let's stay here and let's go with... Uh, what can we call from here? QB choice, maybe. I can go back to Reed. I think we may go direct. I can also flip the formation, too, if needed. Not a big fan of any of what I'm seeing right there. We'll have to go over here. Just get the first down. Now, if Jackson starts to get gas, I may have to switch to a different formation. Everybody seems to be playing okay, though. Uh, we can stay here. PA read, double screens, halfback out. Uh, slot screen. We're going zone, thankfully. We don't have a really good fast tight end to make this play work. Not fully. We can go over here. Just nowhere. Nowhere to go. Uh, we can go speed option. Wish our quarterback was a little faster who can handle this, but it is what it is. Uh, no, nowhere to go. Just nowhere. Perfect defense. So now it's third and forever. Uh, and I took that for... I don't have that formation anymore. Dang it, I was going to go to... <laughs> oh, well. Uh, let's go back to tight end cross. They're going zone, which I'm kind of glad they are. I'm going to hot route Terra Nova. That way he can distract that safety. Good catch. <laughs> Just enough. So I'm going to take a break off trips over. That was a bit of a struggle to kind of get down the field with that thing. But that is in the first quarter. We are tied. Now I may go back here and let's go back to ace normal. We seem to move the ball pretty well with it. We're going zone. We can bring this back over here. Intercepted. Wow, great play. He just got right in front of it like it was nothing. I've never seen that get picked off before. Just he just did it. I just. What an interception by the quarterback. Oh well. Good play on his part, I guess. That puts us behind the eight ball. We'll go back and run the ball some more. It's not a good play. Let's see if we can get the ball back. Do a sack. They went play action. It helped. We got to get them off the field. I'm going to go quarters on this one. Uh, we'll do an over front. Going strong, normal play action. Nope, that's a basic dive there. So it's third and long. My, Nick, my uh, cloud coverage is not working all that great at the moment. We did force one punt. I will say that. Maybe we could force another one here. Do something like this. Crown ain't really getting into it. Ah, oh, he's got all day to throw and dang it. That's just dang it, Al. That was my fault. I think he was going to make the catch anyways. I should have let the CPU handle it. And there it is. We lost. We've already got... Well, we lost the lead. Try not to get frustrated. That was just my fault. I shouldn't have took him over. I think but they're just destroying our third downs. I just don't know what to do about it. I may have to switch to a different off, a different uh, play, I guess. We can't get to the quarterback. We're not getting any pressure unless we blitz. So let's try this again. Let's not turn the ball over. No protection there. Uh, let's go. 
Let's go with I Twins for a while and see how this goes. They're going zone 4-3. Uh, let's go this way. Had to get that one off. Great play, Jackson. Let's stick with this formation. Uh, we're going to go. We're going to run the ball some more. Let's go slam. I don't know. This is just a weird defense to go up against. That shift is forcing me to go this direction. Get a first down there. Still in the middle of the field, and he's kind of gassed. I may need to... Let's go halfback read before we'll switch it up to something else. We're going zone again. Shifting that way. We can try to the left. Good blocking there. Yeah, you can tell he's kind of gassed. So we're going to switch to a different formation. Uh, let's go back to ace normal. I feel like we're doing okay with it. Let's go back to slam. Second and four coming up here. Let's see if we can get a first down on this one. We're going zone. Uh, let's go. Uh, just no protection. And we're back to third and long again. Third and five. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies. Let's go tight end streaks. We're going zone. And this is the fifth play in the current. This is kind of two down territory for me, I'm afraid. This play has worked off and on so far today. Get a first down with Gidros. I forgot he was out there. Good play. We'll stick with the formation. Next, we're going to call a halfback pass. This is a perfect time to try it. Let's go here. They're going, man. I don't know how this play is going to work against this particular defense. I know it works pretty well against normal defenses. But here, we're just nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. I'm going to have to go and get something out of it. We're very fortunate we got the eight yards. They got... My man beater, what I do against Bandit is I just run it with the halfback. The problem is they were just sitting there waiting on it. So I had to come all the way back around and get whatever yards I could. We're very fortunate we did get the yards that we did. So it's second and two. Let's run some more. Let's go dive. Second and two. And this is the they're going point. zone and they're going 5-2. Uh, no, let's go back over here. I'm staying away from that linebacker. Just no, just no protection. None. Third and five again. Um, uh, let's go to a different formation for a little bit. They're going man. Three, three, five. I can't tell who's on who. Uh, we can try something like this. We'll go to Forte. Uh, we may have to go. Let's see how gassed he is. We can stay in this formation. He's doing okay, so we'll, we'll just stick with it. Let's go Y stick. We're going man. Looks like I got to go to Terra Nova on this one. Oh, he's double teamed. Wasn't really, and he dropped it. Uh, that gives me the excuse to. Uh, let's go halfback streak. Let's stay in this formation. I know how all these plays work, so it's not me not knowing kind of what works with what, but they're going cover one. I'm going to go into the corner over here. Redeem yourself, Terra Nova. Good touchdown. They went cover one, so I went to the corner route. I probably didn't need to shift so hard to the left with my quarterback, but we got the six points, so we're going to tie this thing up. There's two minutes and 15 seconds to go. I'd like to figure out what to do on defense. <laughs> right now, they're just doing a really good job of Kind of moving down the field, and I need to play better myself. Looks like we're in for a dogfight. This may be another close game. How many close games have we had this year? Every single one's been just a nail-biter down to the last drive, it seems. I'm going to try to kick it back over to the left side. Do something like this. But it ends up going right down the middle, and I think he's going to return it. Nope, he's going to take a knee. Let's see if we can win this last couple minutes. Let's go quarters. I think they're going to throw some more. We'll do an over front for now. I'm just glad we got it to tie it up. 
Get a stop, somebody. Somebody, anybody. Picks up six yards out of all that mess. I'm going to take a chance on another zone blitz. We've had a couple sacks already. It's been like an all or nothing situation there. I'm going to stay like this. First down. Their quarterback's playing great. Like he's playing just near perfect football at the moment. Our, our defensive line needs to get a push somehow on him, on the offensive line. Ooh. Thank the Lord he didn't get over there in time. Second and ten. They're going with a really big set. Like it's really big. Like two tight wide receivers and three tight ends. And that's we're really weird. So I don't know what they're calling. They're going. It's ace normal. Out of all that, it's still ace normal. Let's go here. Tulsa comes out with two tight ends. Still got all day to throw. Just all day. I ah, dang it, he's got him beat. Great defense. Somebody got a hand on it, I think. Third and ten. Can we get a stop? I'm gonna try Clay out one more time. If it doesn't work, I may go switch to quarters or something. Or have to blitz of some sort. Good play. There we go. We got a minute and a half to go. We're going to get the ball back. If we can get a touchdown before half, that would be incredible. Because we're going to get the ball at the start of the third quarter. We may have a chance on the left, but we can get a block or two. Uh, can that guy catch me? Uh, not really. Minute, and, so we got to get down the field just a little bit. So what, uh, what formation do I need to go with on a lot of this? Let's go... Hey, let's start. Let's go gun, gun trips. You're going man though. It's not what I really wanted. Number eight lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Yeah, not a good play at all. I may have to switch to a different one. I got to get to the sidelines more. We're going zone. Dang it, we're losing time as well. Ball on their own twenty-nine. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Looks. And I did, got out of bounds. Third and nine. Dang it. So now it's oh, just an awful situation. I'm just not handling this well at all. For whatever reason. I should have went down the field more. I tried. That's why I called halfback streak. I was trying to. And he drops it. Dang it. <laughs> oh, drop. Another drop. And just like that, they're going to get the ball with a minute to go. So let's see if we can survive this last minute. By not goofing up. They got somebody on the back end who's an impact guy. Dang it! Terrible kick. Well, at least he's not going to return it, but golly. Falling apart here. Oh, just I hate to get so frustrated over dumb stuff, but just a complete disaster on that drive. Nothing worked. Let's see if I can get after this guy again. And the good protection. He's got all day to throw. Good defense by the corner. Second and ten. I'm gonna do another zone blitz. I'm going after this guy as best I can because our front four's not just ain't stepping up when they need to. I'll control it myself, and they're going with a quarterback play. Oh dang it! Went out of bounds. So it's third and forever. We'll go cloud. If we could just get the ball back, I may just go to half. Because <laughs> I, honestly, I don't trust our offense to get down the field and score. But well, we got to get a stop here first. Let's see if we can. Sack. There we go. I'm going to call a timeout. They're on the 37. Let's just see what type of coverage or what type of uh, down and distance we have. We're going to go double cross. Let's just see where we end up on our first down. We may get a decent return and get decent field position, then I can decide accordingly what to do after that. That's a really good punt. We may get some yards out of it, though. Uh, try to go 80 yards in 37 seconds. I'm not going to bother, so we're just going to take a knee. I just think I don't want to have another dumb turnover. We're very fortunate we're tied after that disaster of that last drive. I don't think they're going to call a timeout either. They're not going to. So we'll take one more kneel. Then we'll go to half and 
I'm, I'm okay with what we're doing offensively. I should have done a whole lot better on that two-minute drill, but we just didn't execute either. You know, it helps if you actually execute. Ricard actually made a good throw on that third down on that post route. Davis just dropped it, and he's our best player, but what do you do? We'll snap it one more time. We can just go ahead and do that now. And they're calling a timeout. What in the world? They call it a timeout. So I just wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna run the ball again, force another timeout. I swear. They're not done with the first half, apparently. And they're gonna call another timeout. Four seconds. I am going to sky punt this thing. The only thing that worries me is, are they close enough to kick a field goal with it? The sky punt should force a fair catch. This ain't a good kick either. Fair catch though, good deal. All right, so we got out of the half, we're tied. Just two teams that are pretty much the same, and the score reflects that. You go to the stats, 200 yards to the other 122. I think offensively we're doing fine. We're pretty balanced. That's not kind of what I meant to do. That's just kind of the way it worked out. But 10 of 15 on the passing. Running, hopefully we can do a little bit better than that. Oh, we got three sacks on them, which is good. Our third down looks okay. 66%, which I guess I can't complain too much. Ricard had a really bad throw. Technically, I don't know if that was his fault. I think the defender made a really good play more than anything else. Let's go to individual stats. Again, 10 of 15, one touchdown, one interception. I'd like to get down the field more, but they're not showing me a lot of stuff. Uh, I probably need to call more deep stuff as well. But I'm not a big fan of throwing deep against these 3-3-5s and 4-2-5s, but we'll figure all that out. So the split is still pretty normal. Jackson and Forte on the uh, attempts. Nothing has really changed. We're just kind of using formations a little differently. Uh, receiving Davis, he's our leading uh, receiver, which is what he's supposed to do. Defensively, Harrison. Defensive end, got five tackles. Three tackles for loss. We got three sacks, but we're blitzing this guy super hard. Okay. We get the ball back. Let's see if we can get a touchdown. I think our biggest problem offensively is we just got a bunch of average players. I hate to be like that. I don't want to blame my roster for things, but I mean, our best two skill guys are, if I'm not mistaken, we can stay in uh, gun bunch, by the way, are like 82 overall. And just, just don't have a, don't have a whole lot of speed either. Let's see if we can make this work. Eh, I'm fixing to get... Uh, dang it. Dang it. Incomplete. Uh, we can try... We can do a run, a halfback off tackle. They're going man. This is we. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Thank it. Shoot, we're, we're lucky we got the yards we did. Now I don't have a play from this formation that can attack third and five, so I'm gonna have to switch up a formation. Let's go halfback out. They're going zone. Uh, I don't know if Forte can make this one. Let's see. He, he can, and then some. I just, you just don't know what kind of defense they're going to call. I think they went like a very soft zone. So let's stay in this formation, shall we? While we're here, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go halfback dive. I can't wait till I get a running quarterback. It's going to open up the run game so much. And what worries me here is those linebackers. What are they doing? And nothing. Just no protection whatsoever. Just a bad play all around. Forcing me to go pass on this one. Let's go slot cross. We're going zone nickel. What we're going to do is we're going to motion Davis. Hopefully we can pull this off. High snap. I swear. Make a play. Shoot! The high snap just, I mean, just messed everything up there. I was very fortunate we got the playoff like we did. But I was waiting for him to get over that corner. Thankfully, he made the catch. Good job, Davis. So let's stay in this formation. Let's go with P. A. Reed. Zone nickel. Uh, 
let's just go ahead and pass this one. I I had to get that one all quick. They were blitzing. I, I guess I should have ran it, but that's okay. Uh, second and seven. On the 22, I'm going to go with cross post. Maybe we can hit Davis in the end zone. Let's see. Let's see what this coverage is like. If they go cover two, we may have a chance. We may have a chance here. Oh, he got stuck. He got stuck, but we're going to get six points anyways. Huh? Huh? So one of the best things, I'll go ahead. Well, let's look at a replay here. Davis got stuck on a defender, I think. That's what took me so long for him to get open. You go back and look at this. Well, focus on Davis, if I can get my cursor on him. Did he get stuck on a defender? He got stuck on... Oh, he got stuck on the post with Gidros. But eventually he got open. We got the ball to our best player just because he's an impact guy. 82 overall for six points. But one thing I was just want to mention really quickly is the best thing I kind of like about what I'm doing here is stick on the one formation pretty much for one drive for the most part is you're going to see a bunch of different things it's not going to be the same 10 plays over and over again like what we was doing the last few weeks and that was just my fault but there's like a dozen plays i can work from here like 10 and 10 and 8 12 14 you know so on and so forth that's why i pick all these four even gun five wide there's a solid 10 pass plays i really like in there and that's with me not even uh updating plays from that formation with the playbook editor imagine once i fix all of the plays that i the way that i want to i can make every formation in the game a cycle formation where you got 18 solid plays and you can just stick with that the entire drive at least so we got the lead so that's a good start to the quarter let's get back on defense and see if we can get another stop our defense i think has played pretty well the last the second quarter, at least, I think we kind of shut them out in that second quarter, if I'm not mistaken. They may have snuck in a touchdown. I don't remember. Somebody get a stop. So, hey, at least we're moving the ball. 281 yards, 21 points already. So, I think the what we're doing offensively is working okay. Probably could have had 28 points if we didn't turn the ball over on that one drive. Let's go quarters. I'm hoping they throw it. Want to go? Ha nope. Went play action. Good, good job on their part. I just that's yeah. Good play call. I bet on the fake. They're going with a really big set. Let's go man cover two. I can see him running it here. I'm gonna control a safety this time. Do something like this. Going with another pass. Pick up what four or five maybe. Going five wide, we can go nickel quarters. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the Do something like this. Line up with five receivers. Maybe I can get in front of this thing and get an interception. Smith drops the throw. Oh, he was wide open over there too. He broke the tackle, but he didn't get the first. Now I don't know what they're going to call here. They're going goal line. This worries me. I'm going to try this again. I think this strategy will work okay against teams like this and not against that wishbone or triple option, but we'll see what they do. Went play action, and he's wide open, and he dropped it. <laughs> we got lucky there. Fourth and two. They're going to punt, so what we're going to do is go all out block. If they fake it, that's just really smart on their part. But we're going to try to go for the block here, unless they come in to protect. They're not going to. Just don't hit the punter. Or the, yeah, don't hit the punter. We're going to fair catch this thing. And let's go back. And let's stick with this formation for a while. Let's go. This is normally our goal line formation, but there's plenty of decent stuff in this one, I think. We're going zone 3-3-5. Three, three, uh, we'll go just nowhere. To, absolutely nowhere. Awful. Got stuck. That's another thing we got to work on. We need a better offensive lineman. I'm going to go with a toss play on this one. Oh, wow. Just... Uh, very, our offensive line is just getting destroyed at the moment. Look, I got stuck on my center. I mean, we're very fortunate we didn't turn the ball over there. Just awful. So it's third and forever. Third and 13. I may... 
you know, I'm going to try that slot cross again. It's just, for whatever reason, it's on my mind. So we're going to call it again. Hopefully we can execute it a little bit better this time. Don't need a high snap. Let's see what we can do here. Six points. He went for the dive. Oh, my gosh. It helps to be lucky than good, I guess. I threw it as quickly as I could. Normally, and we're going to break this down again. I had to get over here just to make sure that safety done a good job, except he didn't, if that makes sense. But what I'm trying to do here is I motion my uh, my crosser over here, and once he hits the sideline, he's going to cut up the sideline right there. This is when I'm supposed to throw it. As soon as this corner comes down, that's when you throw it as hard as you can. The problem is you got to hope you throw it as quickly as possible before that safety comes down and intercepts it. That's what happened in our last game against Rice. That safety picked it off. Just a good play on his part. But this guy almost picked it off himself. I threw it as hard as I could. It looks like I've done a medium press, but I swear I tried to go for as hard as the pass as I could. But thankfully he went for the swat and it didn't work. And we're going to get six points by you-know-who, by Davis. And just like that, we're up two scores. So the breaks are going our way in this quarter so far. So we've dominated the third quarter, which I always try to do. Always like coming out of halftime, playing strong. You want to play strong all four quarters, don't get me wrong. So let's see if the defense can continue what they're doing. We're keeping them out of the end zone the last couple quarters. If we could get to the quarterback, force a bad throw or two, that'll be great. Thank the Lord they're not running the ball a whole lot. I don't blame them. When you got two good studs that tied in a wide receiver, I'd throw the ball a lot more, too. Uh, I'm going to do something like this. Hopefully they don't go off tackle here. Nope, they're going past. Intercepted. Good defense. I hit him as soon as he threw it. Second and ten. Oh, my God. I'm going to go quarters. I, I wanted the blitz again, but I'm going to go quarters for now. I'm doing over front. I'm going a slot. Another good formation you can do a cycle offense with. Somebody make a play. I can't do it. Good. Somebody. Three on one. That's the best situation you can ask for. So it's third and ten. We're going to go back to cloud. I'm going to try to get to this guy as quickly as possible. I'm going to try to do this with Morris. Intercept that. Interception. Tent for tent. Six points. Pick six. I don't know if he got hit when he threw it. But it's the exact same situation where they had their interception. You go back and look at this. We may get a decent replay. And not really. Can't see what happened on the back end. He had time to throw. Just made a bad throw. Yeoman's just stepped up. I think he threw it just a tad before the guy made his route. I don't know. Really no different, again, like that other interception they had in the first quarter. But we took advantage of that one and then some. So two turnovers. They scored a touchdown off ours. We scored a touchdown off theirs. But this third quarter has been absolutely dominant, so let's keep doing it. Kick an extra point. And he hits the PAT. Just over a this will, if we win, you know, the, the game's not over with yet. If we win, this will definitely solidify a bowl spot. I think we was going to get in regardless. But when you're hanging around the 6-6 six and six level, you're just never sure. But get this win, get up seven wins. I'm going to go with another zone blitz. I'm going to call a different one this time. We're going to do an inside. Yes, I'm going to leave it as such. Intercept that. Good defense. I, that play looked very familiar. That's that PA screen from I-Twins. It's a fake to the fullback and a screen. Of course, he went to the go rack because it was kind of open. We're going to go back to quarters. Make sure I got everybody set up correctly. Halfback dive. Good job, defensive line. I think we had a couple guys get through there. 
But guess what? Third and long again. I'm going to go back to Cloud. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 22 yard line. I'm going to go back with Morse. Smith drops back. Go to the outside. Nope, he's got all day to throw. Thank the Lord that was a bad throw. He had to get down for it. So we're going to force another punt. If we can get a touchdown here, I think this could be a ball game. We're already up three scores. I'd like to go up four. Tulsa, ready to put this one away. I think eh, that's a good punt. Can you get over there in time? And eh, we'll just take it out of bounds. That's fine. Now I haven't. You know I can do it. A time. Well, we've done a little trips, bunch uh, trips over. I don't want to get too cute with things, but let's go. Let's go with trips over. Zone four three. Or three three five. I'm sorry. Well, it looks like we have to go out here. Get about six yards, not a whole lot. Four, yard game Four yards. I want to call. I don't have it in this formation. It's in the other one. Uh, we can go halfback streak. That's fine. They're going zone nickel. I'm not worried about running clock or anything at the moment. We're going to do another rollout. Good throw to Gidros. Good, good throw. So we're going to stay in this formation. We're going to go with, it's on my mind, and the PA inside's another good one, too. I completely forgot it's in there. Let's go trips attack. Zone nickel. We're going to bounce this over to Davis. Get about five yards there. And that is, dude, did he get out of bounds? I think he did. So let's go speed option. Hopefully this will work. Again, I'm a little iffy with our quarterback. He's not the fastest guy, but I think he's fast enough. We're going to go to the right. Just good blocking all around. We're going to maybe get a first down with our quarterback. Third and one. Uh, let's go dive. We're going to try to find a crease somewhere. Surely we can get a first down on this one. Just get a first down. Just enough. Just get it. <laughs> just get the first. Good play there. Now let's stay in this formation. We're, we're moving the ball with our formation. Let's just stick with it. Let's go QB choice. I'm going to give this to Jackson, of course. I'd, uh, Ricard, you got to have an even faster quarterback to run choice if you're going to keep it with him. Good defense. Nowhere to go there. I am going to go with the double screens. We're going man. This will be interesting. Uh, I'm going to run some clock. I'm okay with doing that now. That safety on Davis, I don't know how that he's going to react. That He's awful close to him. I've never called this play against a 3-3-5. Now, we did it earlier, and we got a pretty good chunk out of it. And he's, yeah, that's what worried me. He's way too close on him, so we can't go back to that. So it's third and 11. I need to go to a third and long play. Yeah, let's go tight end cross. I guess a 3-3-5, I have no clue if this will work or not. But we're going to try to go to Davis. Went with a cover three there. I don't like any of that. I'm just going to do something like that. We're going to kick a field goal. I wish I would have stayed in bounds. Fourth and eight, I'm okay with that. That play, that defense was really good. They went with a cover three. I see a safe or a corner. I, th no, that, I think that's actually a safety. Going here, we see the free safety going here, and I think this safety's going up. So they went cover three, and my post route, that would have been awful tight. So I think I made the wise choice by not going to him. So I'm just going to run with the quarterback and just... At this point, I don't even want to throw to anybody. Nobody was open, as you can tell. I mean, I mean, he was kind of open. I don't know. I think I played that one safe. Let's just kick the field goal if we can. So I did not get out of bounds. That's good. So we can run some more clock. Hopefully I can make this field goal. We don't have a very good... And we got an okay kicker. He's average. But kicking so hard on Heisman. But that's a challenge. You know, it's super easy in the later games. Really good kick out. Good job. Right down the middle. As long as you can hit your button presses correctly, it's okay. That's easier said than done. So we scored. So it's 38 to 14. Now we're up 24. That gets us up four scores. 
Technically, no, actually, that's three scores. You can get three touchdowns and two or three two point conversions. That's technically a three score lead. Somebody get a stop. Good tackle. I assume they're going to pass the rest of the way. I'm still going to go after him, though. We're going to blitz him. I will flip this. I'm going to leave it as is. Good pickup on the blitz. Wide open. Wide open. You just got to hope that safety makes a play and he didn't there. So that's two busted plays right there. You know? On the back end. One of them was my fault. I took over the guy and I dove. I just looked like a fool. That one, he tried to go for the... It just didn't work. That's the chance you take when you're going zone blitz out of cover two zone. If he's got time to throw, KD bar the door, he's going to hit one of those safeties. He's going to attack him hard. But that's the chance I took. Somebody get him. And he failed it. Awesome. So we're up 18. They're going to go with an onside kick. From here, we're going to run the ball quite a bit the rest of the way. We're going to run clock and try to end this thing as best we can. Let's just get out of bounds. We can go back to ace normal for now. Let's just go slam. We're going man 5-2. I will probably go to the right. Let's do a little motion. I think we're going cover zero. Can we get to the outside? Nope. Good defense. There was nothing up the middle. Second and nine. Let's go counter. I haven't called that today. It's a little bit better than the way I, it used to be. I can't tell who's on who. See, it's just kind of tough. Uh, we can go back to the right, I think. Just continue the run clock. This game is nowhere near over. We're up three scores, thankfully, but still. Four, three, two... Just look at that. Just nowhere to go. Even up the middle? Was there anything up the middle? No. Just no protection anywhere. Uh, third and ten. I'm going to go for the first down. Let's go tight and cross. We'll flip it. And they're going man. I can't. Uh, we'll either go to Davis or Terra Nova on this one. Can't tell who's on who. Just let's see what that safety does. Get it down for a couple more seconds. They're doing that. And he's double teamed over here, but just a bad throw. Just a bad throw by Ricard. Just not a good drive at all. They shut down by offense pretty much. They just my run game was pathetic on that one. Next time we're gonna go I twins and see if we can do something with it. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can get close down here. That's a pretty good punt. Pretty good punt. He's going to fair catch it. So now they got to go 90 yards. So we're going to back off the blitzing because they are doing a good job of attacking it as long as he's got time to throw. We'll stay in quarters, make him go down the field a long ways. Sack. Somebody. Hey, all right. They didn't need my help to get a sack. Second and 14. Is that Harry Harrison's had a really good day. Just beat the left tackle. Nice move. Oh, uh, this is nickel. Let's go four three quarters. Uh, we'll do something like this. Don't run to the right. He's wide open. Dang it, yep. It's like, here we go. Somebody stop him. They ran stick. Now they're going to go no huddle. Let's see what goofy stuff they're going to call here. And they're going ace big, so who knows. Went out of bounds, second and ten. Probably a good thing on their part. They're going to go back to ace big. I'm just going to stay in quarters the rest of the way. Which is keep everything in front of us. Smith steps back to pass. He's looking across the middle. To the middle, it's his Good open field tackle. I was hoping to get in front of it, but it didn't work. So it's third and two. Ooh, we'll go cloud. I'm surprised they went they went huddle here. I figured they'd go back to no huddle, but they didn't. 
Oh, he dropped it. Wow, their best player dropped it. We know how it feels. Davis dropped one earlier. Fourth and two. They got to go for it, of course. They're going... Uh, let's just go quarters. They're going with the bigger sets. I don't really need to go nickel. I think they're going to throw it. They one guy can't hear that at least. Oh, they're going counter. And he got it just barely. I was not expecting a counter play there. Get over the line. There you go. They're going to go back to that option play. No, they're going to pass it. He's wide open over here. Second and two. We're going to do the same thing. Everybody get past the line. Good job, Bal. was able to get a hand on. Now it's third and two. They are doing... Uh, now let's go back to Cloud. Why not? So I don't know where Morris is at. He must still be gassed, I guess. Scott just got destroyed on that one. I guess he dropped that. I thought my defender got in front of it there. Now, they're going with the big set. I'm going to go man lock. They're going goal line. See, we got some bad players on our, out here now. Our defense is gassed to no end. We went with a pass. Oh, good catch. That's why I went man lock. If we would have went dog blitz, he would have been wide open, and that would have been six points. So I think that was the wise decision. But they're slowly getting down the field. It's taking them forever, though, which is fine. That's what I was wanting. That's what I'm wanting right there. Six points. Take it back. Oh, he may get caught. Is that tight ain't going to get him? Get in there. <laughs> That's what I was waiting on. It was going to happen eventually. Keep throwing in my direction. I am going to pick one of those off. Good job, Mason. Ran a little stick, a little hitch. And it's off to the races after that. Huh? And that sealed it right there. We are going to be up 25 points. 50 seconds to go. Let's survive these next 50 seconds with trying to not have any injuries. That's the goal here. But we're going to go right back on offense and try to score. But our defense has been opportunistic. Their two big touchdowns came off against zone blitzes where he had time to throw. The other touchdown, I don't remember what it was, honestly. But the rest of the time, our defense has played really well. And I have messed this one up again. I hit the button too late. Our offense, I, I think we played well, at, mostly at times. But I like the new direction that I took with it. I'm very pleased with that. That should only get better in time. But at least you're going to see a bunch of different things. You're not going to see the same 12 to 14 plays over and over again. Which I'm pleased with it. And I enjoyed calling different things all the time. Oh, I can't see what's happening over there. I'm out of the screen, so I can't tell what to do. So they're calling a timeout. I would love to blitz, but no, we're not going to. Let's just keep everything in front of us again. Here's a biggie. Negative one yards rushing. Now, having all these sacks is helping with that. Oh, good catch. Good play. I didn't know who to defend, the tight end or the halfback. First of 10. Uh, let's go nickel quarters. I think we're going to need some extra speed out here. Go back to the over. It said they was going three wide. Dang it, that's why I called nickel. Somebody got a hand on it. Second and 10. I'll just stay in quarters. It takes them forever to get down the field if you go quarters a lot. When you especially you know they're going to pass it. Play action? No, that is not play action. <laughs> that is nowhere near play action. That's a straight up run. He's got a pretty good average today, 5.7. That run helped. I just butchered that one. I'm going trying to defend that receiver. So they're really close to score. Now I'm okay with actually blitzing because they're kind of running out of field to work with. So maybe they can go play action here and I can really blast them with a sack. Fullback can't hear it. Don't know how, but... 
Oh, good play. Dive up the middle. They're running the ball. I guess they're they're giving up at this point. If that's the case, let's we'll just go man the rest of the way. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 20 yard line. Uh, do something like this. Oh, now they decide to pass. I don't know what they're doing. So that's another drop on their part. How does it feel? I know exactly how you feel with these drops. Third and eight. I assume they're going to try to go for a first down here. I'm going to go back after them. But they're going with a really big set. Sack. Fumble. I forced the fumble on the sack. Awesome. It's been a long time since I've done that. I've done a complete swan dive on this dude. They went with a play where it forced the quarterback to flip around. It took him forever. You look at this play right here. I wonder if I can get a... Oh, it was a good hit. Really good hit. And I forced the fumble. Really cool. And that's the ball game right there. 45 to 20. How about Tulane? That's a good comeback win after our disaster in that last game. Really pleased with what we've done. Now, our defense played great, yes, but I thought our offense, just switching things up schematically, philosophically, I like what I've done. I'm definitely going to stick with it. Let's go stats and scores. Now, we gave up quite a bit of yardage. When their quarterback was had a clean pocket, he could make some throws. But we had five sacks on that dude, which made the difference today. Uh, we shut down their run game really well. Now, I know the sack yardage is kind of affected into that. Uh, I wish we would have ran the ball better, but it was okay. 90 yards. They've done a pretty good job of shutting that down. But it was our passing game that done really well. Now, a lot of that was doing some of those rollouts. The rollouts worked pretty well today. Thankfully, we got a quarterback that's just fast enough that can handle it. And they called a lot of cover two zone against those plays. It just worked out for us. But 17 to 25, 331 yards. 63% on third down. I'll take that any day of the week. We had one less turnover than they did. That was another big key to the game. The rest of that doesn't say a whole lot to me. Let's go to individual stats. Again, 17 to 25, three touchdowns and one pick for Ricard. He had that one just, again, it wasn't really a bad throw. I think that defender made a better play than anything else. Running the ball, I wish we would have done a little bit better. Forte just didn't do all that well, unfortunately. He had only a 2.4 average. Jackson ran the ball a little bit better today. Just kind of the way it worked out. Receiving Davis. In the end, I switched up the offense philosophically. We went with a formation-based offense, and our best receiver still got his chunk yardage. By far his best game of the season, 236 yards and two touchdowns. We're still able to find a way to give our best player the ball. Defensively, Harrison, defensive end. Normally your right end doesn't do as much as the left end, but he sure stepped up today. Six tackles. He had two tackles for loss. He had a sack. And we had five different guys get a sack today. Scott, Morris, Harrison, Spencer, and Mason. Really cool. That's a rarity, especially on these uh, juiced-up sliders. Uh, interceptions, we had two. Yeomans, his big uh, pick six. And they had mine uh, and with the pick. We had two pick sixes today. I just didn't realize that. Two of them. Super rare to have two in one game. Really cool. All right. Uh, I want to check the box score. This was the key. Third quarter. We just completely dominated that quarter. It was tied game at half, but we came out of the locker room with some uh, conviction and took advantage of the situation. Just that second half, we played really well. Good to see. All right, let's get out of here. Let's check out some top 25 scores for the week. Miami got upset by Wake Forest, 38-31. to 31. NC State over MTSU. Washington State over Washington. Oklahoma over Texas Tech. Then you have Kansas over Iowa State. Virginia Tech got beat by Virginia. Fresno State with the upset over USC. That was huge. Tennessee destroys Vanderbilt per usual. Then you got LSU over Ole Miss. Georgia over Kentucky. Auburn over Alabama. Iowa over Minnesota. Then you have Ohio State getting upset by Michigan. Both teams are having a kind of a rough year. Then last but not least, you got Purdue beating Indiana. All right, our next game, it's our last game of the regular season. It's against Ball State. They're 3-8. and eight. Hopefully, we can take care of business against them. They don't do much of anything well, as you can tell by their stat line. And I think they run a spread offense. I think they like to pass a little bit, too. But their passing game apparently is abysmal. But hopefully, we can uh, do our job here, finish the season strong, try to go 8-4, and four, and then we'll play our ball game, which should be a whole lot of fun as well. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.